All right, what's up you guys? So what we have here is a Sky RC um, motor analyzer. Test your KV, motor timing and everything. Motor timing, you can adjust the pole motor, uh, what kind of, how many poles you wanna check. So yeah, we're gonna check out these three motors right now. R1, 4.5 turn, it's supposed to be 7,500 KV. This is the drag tuned motor. It's $120 motor. We have the Castle. These are all brand new by the way. Castle 7,700 kV motor. Oops. Okay. All right, it's brand new in the box. And then we have the Rudd Dog. It's a $50 motor. This one's an $80 motor. The Castle, that's a four pole motor right there. That's a two pole motor. Here's another two pole motor. And it's a four turn, it's a Rudd Dog. It's a $50 motor. So we're gonna see how they all do. Um, we're gonna check out the KV rating on them, see how true they are, and we're gonna also see the amp draw. Maybe this can help you out choose your next drag racing motor. All right, let's go. All right, we're gonna do the R1 first. 4.5 turn drag motor. Right, we're gonna keep it equal, so we're gonna all gonna keep it at 30 degree timing. Except for that one, that one doesn't have timing. Um, we're gonna keep the road dog at 30 degree timing too. So all you gotta do, just plug this in, your sensor wire, and then match your ABCs. ABC, it's caller coordinate. These are just random. Um, match it with your ABC. And it should work just fine. We have a fully charged battery right here. Okay, 2S by the way, fully charged 2S. All right, let's check it out. All right, got the sensor cable put in, got the ABCs right, and look, they have a little nice little platform here for the motor with the rubber on them. So, yep, so all you gotta do, twist the knob. Always check your noise level, motor timing. So, four pole motor, nice, and we're on two pole. So you can adjust this if you want a four pole motor, six pole, whatever. We're on two pole motor right now, go back check the kv rating motor timing so motor timing right now is at 30 degrees so we're going to see how correct that is click that press again to start it's going to wind up there you go test is done now we're going to see average 36 degrees it says 30 but over in the analyzer so it shows you each pole's average degrees so average 36 not bad so let's go back here, rotate left to go back. More timing here. KV RPM, this is what's interesting. Now we're gonna check the KV, press the button again. Now once you see this, see the battery? That's a, wow, we're charged high right now. <laughs> anyway, so spin this around all the way, full spin, winding real good. Right now we have a 12 amp draw, 30 degrees we're getting. Okay, press the button right there. So 30 degrees, 30 degrees of timing, we're getting 7,100 kV with a 12 amp draw and uh, 57,000 RPM. So pretty much how you're just gonna get the RPM is just multiply your voltage times your kV. Not so much RPMs you're getting. So yep. Yeah. At 30 degrees, this is your R1 drag tuned, 7,100 kV, uh, 12 amp draw. All right, so next up, we're gonna try the Castle, 7,700 kV, we'll see how true that is. So let's go. All right, so here we are, the Castle, 7,700 kV, it comes pre-soldered. Your wires will made it easy for me. All right, got the timing in. So we're gonna check how much timing this motor has. Let me clear that out for you. There you go. Motor timing, press the start. You don't have to turn the knob anymore. It does it for you. Oh, that was quick. 14 degrees timing stock for this guy. So pretty even all across the board. A, B, and C, all 14 degrees. So yep, rotate left to go back. Now we have a four pole motor. So we'll go to pole of motor, hit that, turn, oh, pole of motor, hit it again. Once it starts blinking, turn it, 
There you go, full pull motor. There you go. Now we have the KV RPM. Well, let's try that again, four pull motor, motor timing. Let's try that again with four pull setting. See if it makes any difference. Oh, that's quick again, so. Yep, still the same, 14 degrees. So checking your motor timing doesn't matter if the setting is on a four pull or a two pull. Now, this is the interesting part. KV RPM, all right, let's see. Same voltage. Let's turn it up all the way, crank that baby up. Looks like it's climbing faster than the R1. Wow, this is really impressive right now. Um, 7,700 kV. Okay, I hit the button, so it dropped down. Um, I saw it peak at 7,700 kV, but right now, uh, yeah, because the amp draw is way lower than the R1s. See the voltage earlier dropped down to 8.0. Now it only dropped down to 8.2. The amp draw is way lower. The KV rating is higher. So if you just multiply 8.2 by the KV, you get 6, 62,000 RPM. Wow. For that much amp draw, you don't spend as much battery. So might be a better deal. I don't know. Uh, it's for you guys to decide. Um, our one's a good brand. Um, it's a good choice for people who like the drag race. Um, yeah, these three motors are actually for drag racing. So... Yep, we'll see. Let's try the Rudd Dog. All right. All right, here we are with the Rudd Dog. So it's also set to 30 degrees timing. Okay. It's uh, pretty good. Looks pretty nice for a $50 motor. All right, let's check it out. Let's start for the castle. All right, let's go. <laughs> that was quite tricky to get the clamps on the on the Rudd Dog. So I believe this is a two pole motor. You gotta drop it back down. Two pole, there you go. Now we're gonna see the motor timing. It's set to 30. We'll see how true that is. Whoa! <laughs> okay, that thing just moved. 22 degrees. Yeah, this thing fell over. That's a noisy motor. That's loud. Anyway, yeah, so it's sparked because this one fell. This one fell out. But anyway, that was an average 22 degrees. So I told you it was tricky to put on. I'm going to put it on better for when we test the, the KV rating. Anyway, timing's at 22. Yeah, that spark scared me too, man. Shit. <laughs> Well, let me fix that again, and then we'll do the KV rating. <laughs> oh, damn, jumped out again. Ooh, that would have been bad. All right, got that figured out, I think. There's no solder. These are all brand new motors, so. <laughs> all right, so we got the motor timing, 22 degrees average. Was that 22? I don't even remember anymore. All right, anyway, KV, KV rating. Let's go. So, battery still at 8.6. This, this is quite impressive. So, wow, fifty dollars. Jeez. So yeah, um, I'm speechless right now. Get these clamps out of here because it scared me earlier. I don't know if that explosion made me made this motor extra fast, but that's crazy. So yeah, it's a four-turn motor, right? four turn motor so this is rated at 8350 but look at the reading 8500 at only a seven amp draw wow this wow looks like we found a gem guys so mm, that's quite impressive uh it's a really loud motor though usually when the louder the motor is um the cheaper parts it has whatnot the bearings uh, yeah, but data on here says only 7 amp draw for that 8,500 kV. That's, that's one hell of a motor. So, yep. Anyway, guys, 
So that's our three motors for today. This one, my buddy's gonna buy this for me, so gotta keep that clean. But anyway, there's the R1. There's your Red Dog. Oops. R1 4.5 and Red Dog, four turn. All right, guys, so that's it. If you like the video, guys, don't forget to subscribe, okay? All right, peace out.